everyone. We're playing one of the what's regarded as one of the best Half-Life 2 mods out there, Transmission Element 120. Now a free-to-play game on Steam. Well, I don't know how long it's been a free-to-play game on Steam, but okay, whatever. It told me to play in the dark, so right now I'm playing in the in my in the dark, but I know you can't see that since I don't have my cruddy webcam on. But get ready to hit, get a blast from the past from like 2012 back when PewDiePie was cringy and made videos of him screaming at Slenderman. Remember that? <laughs> the horror game boom where YouTubers... And I'm, I'm, I don't think this is like a horror mod. This is just a mod mod that definitely takes place in the Half-Life universe. I decided to make videos of me playing Half-Life 2 mods. Because I like them. Place can make all the difference. In right man in the wrong place can make all the difference in the world. Whoa, nothing but dark. Am I in like a cave or a sewer? Train. Train. Am I on a train? What, what, what? Just got up. Yeah, I'm on a train. What the heck? Man in the wrong place. Alright, it's daylight. Flashlight? I guess I'll take this flashlight with me. Okay. What am I doing? Okay, why is the train stopped? Uh, okay, what the heck? Why is my frame rate so low for a Half-Life 2 mod? Radiation. Uh-oh. It's not good. Oh. Okay, what the heck? Right, hang on, I'm gonna lower the options, lower the stuff down, the audio here. I think that's a little better. That way you can you guys can maybe hear me. Alright, what do I what do I do? It's like 30 FPS. Usually most Half-Life 2 mods I play would run at like 60, but 30 is fine. 30 FPS. Interesting. Alright. So where, where do I go? Where where do I go? Do I go through this door here? nothing in here. It's just a supply box. But I can't break it open. I, I don't know how to, I, don't, I can't find a way to break it. Is there like a key here somewhere? Where's the key? Where, where is the key? Do I live in like this train car or something? Must be. This train looks like it hasn't moved in years. How do I get there? Get on top of the train cars or something. Uh, there's a little picture of a guy with a combine soldier. Okay. I really wish they were like higher resolution versions of Half Life newspaper clippings to see what like the news would have said once the seven hour war had concluded. Okay, there must have been must be radioact radioactive bad stuff back there. Do I disable the shields? Uh, what do I do? Can't interact with that. Can I go in a <gasps> crowbar? Give me the crowbar. Okay, we need to get this uh, box. Yeah, box. Let's get the box. Climb up and get the crowbar. All right, I got I got a crowbar. Cool. Now I can break open the supply crates. City scanner! Get out of here! Get out of here! Get out of here! Ow! Ah, that's bright! Alright, where, where's the... Where is the... Where's this, that, that supply crate I dropped? It's up here. Okay. Yeah, dead boy. A gun? Headcrab! <laughs> Z 
zombie. The zombie. Uh oh. Zombie torso. Missing half of his body. Oh my god. Custom. No, it's not a custom skin. Yeah, you know what? I remember the first on my first Half-Life 2 playthrough. There's this one part in the air in the airboat section of the game. Huh? Let's go! Huh? Hello? Hello? Uh oh. Hello? Rebels. Oh, this is a combine. This is a zombie. Don't eat that. Is the Overwatch AI talking to me? Zombie! Ah! Eesh. Everything kind of has a spooky, muted tone to it. It's interesting. I guess I'll go down here. Ooh, QR code. Zoom to into code. Breathless cannot see in the dark. Ah! Hurry! Ah! Can't go there. Oh! I'm not Gordon Freeman, obviously. I, I can't be, right? Yeah, that tunnel part. That tunnel has been walled off. So I think I'll have to face my fears against that turret. Maybe if I hold up this barrel as a shield, that'll help. Now, you know what? I kind of realized Gary's mod is like the only thing that really brings me marginal success. So I'm hoping maybe Half-Life 2 will bring me marginal success too. Ow, 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 ow. So, and yeah, I do, I'm not, but the thing is, I don't really want to make nothing but Gary's Mod videos. I don't want to become an exclusive Gary's Mod, exclusively a Gary's Mod channel. It's just, um, I want to make videos of me playing multiple games. I want to make videos that, like, you know, I want to make myself happy while playing games. Oh, God. Okay. I should have known that he was like awake, that he was like sleeping or something, or he was hiding. He wasn't really hiding, he was more like uh, in lying in wait. Yeah, still waiting for Half Life 3 this long. Zoom to decode. Calm, calm with the guard of night. Do not gentle into that good light. I hear something. I hear like a. I hear something, yeah. Oh my. The generator. Uh oh. Turret! Yeah! I shouldn't have turned on that generator. Wait, am I like a combine soldier or. What? Who am I? Must be since these rebel turrets are attacking me. Is there a way up? No, it doesn't seem so. What are these little corridors? We have a secret passageway. Alright. Yeah! You attack the zombie, not me. Ah! Oh god, it's a horde of zombies! Oh boy! Oh boy. I gotta walk carefully over this. Veiled in the black of night. Really amongst the, the flow or something, flow rider. Oh Jesus! What 
lot of undead legions willing to rip my flesh out. Oh boy. They're chucking, they're chucking stuff at me. Okay, what am I supposed to do here? Looks like I'm gonna have to make a mad dash! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I wanna get torn apart, man. What am I supposed to do? Walk above them. <sighs> what am I supposed to do? codes, but you just hold Z. Hmm. Uh, come on. I wonder if you hold down, um, can I, can I read these? Can I read this? No, it doesn't look like it. like an old base. Uh, TV? I don't want to watch TV, man. Oh, 
Uh, oh, no, no, no more TV. Must be an old rebel, must have been an old rebel, must have, this must have been an old rebel base, yeah. Can't read anything on the clipboard. Can't read that. And so, yeah, um, bigger mods will be like, a mul will have multi-part series with their own individual episodes, but will kind of be classed into the same stuff as my, like, ha Half-Life 2 mod series. Multi-part episodes, like episode one, part one, that kind of deal. But, I'll just... <sighs> Because I like these Half-Life mods. Can I read this? Nope. Alright, what do I do? What do I do in here? Boots. Mattress that kind of has weird holes when I hit it. Doesn't look like what it would look like if I hit a mattress. TV. Can I get a drink of water? Turn on the water. Hmm. Bunk beds. Oh, look at this. All right, go in the vent. Go in the vent. All right. Nothing up there. Ah, the Half-Life 2 vent crawling segments. Always something in a Half-Life 2 game, and now a Half-Life 2 mod. That's where I was before. Ooh! Good night, Irene! Oh! Oh, boy. Ow! Ow. Ow. Hello? Uh, anybody home? Doesn't look like anyone's here. Gravity gun. Whoa! This does not look like a regular gravity gun! Whoa! Oh, look, a gnome! You've been I'm a gnome! You've been gnome! I want the shotgun! Give me the shotgun! Zero point energy projector. Gravity concussion gun? Oh, this is sweet! I like this! Boom! Bam! <laughs> Oh, you gotta wait for the ammo to, like, naturally regenerate. Okay. This, that is really cool. That is wicked cool. So anyways, this will be, like, a conclusion for part one. Follow up as I continue my adventure on in the underground area with this really epic gun. <laughs> the gravity concussion gun. Alright, anyways, goodbye.